feel obligated to chronicle my ups and downs. I still have so much feeling for the car and I want to drive it as fast as I can. I feel like I'm keeping up the friendship and that they aren't really interested. I have a feeling that as we approach the presidential elections next year there will only be more upset here. I still feel achy. I feel that I owe that to you. I only have a few friends in Facebook and even in this little circle friends that I have I still feel envious to them. I feel like a broken record but where does the time go? Time go? Time go? Time go? Time go? I decided to add a lightweight pair of knit pants to his ensemble unfortunately I think the add-in layer made him feel more comfortable and confident and that was when a few accidents occurred. Well the, the IC chip, this is a, it's a dedicated servo controller chip, so it, it has the smarts to know how to interpret the signals that are coming from the controller and turn them into motor signals for the, the bear's head. Pretty much everything else on here is just uh, supplementary to telling this chip what, what its values are, it's looking for. So some little um, capacitors and resistors that are paired up to tell it uh, basically timing types of, of info. The rest of the chip is basically designed to apply a voltage to the motor leads that move the head until the voltages between the two pins are equal. It's called a, a comparator. It's, it's basically like a little amplifier. Two of them are out for the motor, essentially. It'll, it'll apply voltage from, to one pin or the other to make the motor move in one direction or another. Um, and then there's also a signal line that comes in, and these things receive signals um, in pulse width modulation. So there's a, a pulse, and a length of time elapses, and that length of time that elapses tells the chip what voltage it should expect on those two pins. The head's got eyes and it's got a mouth. It's got eyes that go up and down and a mouth that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all just one motor. Just one one extreme of its position is the air, eyes being closed, and the other extreme is the mouth being open. It just so they don't they can't happen at the same time. No, sadly. Grab a bear out of the box. And we plug this connector in. Okay, yellow is signal in this case. So yellow is sig. So that goes on there. Now, when we turn this on, we should see that light light up. Okay, that means it's got power. We twist that such that the mouth is just closed. And that's its position. And that mates the board with the bear's head. Hello. This is a test. What we're going to end up having is a, a numbered back in its box with the cable and the new board installed in it that is going to have the trim pot tuned to the head of that numbered bear. Mm -hmm. So after, after we go through all that, we'll install them on here, and then we'll start with the backs, and putting the backs on one by one, and running the cables as, a, as the final step, so.
the first step is uh, harvesting emotional content from the web. And uh, there's a website called We Feel Fine, which is a, uh, a brilliant art project uh, on its own right. They pull that information down based on uh, search criteria of I or we feel. I'm pulling down a web feed from them in real time, and I'm, uh, I'm further categorizing it based on uh, this classification scheme by uh, Robert Pluchik. And he was a psychologist in the 80s, I think is when this paper was written, but uh, he, he came up with this categorization, which is really, uh, really visual. It's this uh, lotus blossom looking diagram that uh, maps out uh, primary human emotions and shows how uh, by mixing them, like the like the colors in the color wheel, you can get secondary and tertiary emotions. The uh, the individual comments are all broken up and randomly sent to one of the eighty bears that we have, each with its own unique voice. And while that bear is speaking, it's illuminated by one of two moving mirrored lights that we've got. The the light is stationary in the ceiling, with a uh, a mirror that knows where to point in order to highlight that bear like a like a spotlight while that bear is speaking this is all going on while the music is being played behind matching the emotion being spoken there's a console in the space where viewers can interact with the installation by coming up and adding their own content which gets aggregated into the mix uh, and categorized with the uh, the other content. We can also gather content from a, uh, a text message or even from a voicemail message. And all that content gets worked into the installation to add a, add a, a bit of interactivity. so glad you are coming out so soon I am beginning to feel so lonesome I walk about sometimes aimlessly and find my thoughts drifting in such an odd way. I am glad that he's got somewhere to stay but I just feel lonely. I tried masking the feelings with sex and that didn't really work out so hot. I never usually feel particularly upset about being broke and living in my senile grandmother's house with my mum on he crouch downstairs so I don't mind about being poor. I feel helpless. I also feel like I have finally found a niche here. I don't particularly feel depressed, tired, glum, or sad. I do feel pissed off, irritated, angry, and have crazy mood swings, swings, swings. I still feel like a complete failure. Anyone 
who could make me feel the way listening to this band makes me feel I would need nothing else in this world. I love where you see him get nervous as the cameraman reaches him to feel his cock, his cock, his cock, his cock. I get that feeling like, oh God, I'm cheating on my boyfriend even though I didn't like kiss him or have sex with him or anything, 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 anything. It's the board is screwing up right now. It's not doing exactly what it's supposed to. I was seven o'clock this morning and I was waking up and he's like, um, so up to an hour ago this thing was like working perfectly. And now it oh, no. crashed on me. My whole goddamn computer shut off on me five minutes ago. I'm like. I'm like, I'm going back to sleep. The, uh, the bears work. We know that. The software works. We know that. But for some reason, sometime about 7 o'clock this morning, the board that was performing admirably all night long decided that it was going to start behaving in random ways. It's because I woke up. <laughs> no, it was before you woke Don't up. Don't poke the bear. But I don't know why. It, it should have been more tested. It should have it should have been through the paces before tonight. Sean Hathaway is feeling very angry. What I want to do with it is a little crazier than that. I want to actually do um, where key words in it, the, emo the words that were used to tag the emotional content of it, uh -huh. are actually rendered differently. It has to always be, the focus has to always be on the text and entering text for Ted. So no matter what you're doing in this thing, if you start typing at the keyboard, it, it gives text into the text box. Before we had to go through all the trouble of yelling across the room to decide their mouth positions. Uh -huh. This is a little app that once the uh, entire installation's in place, you can go through and set all the light positions and all the mouth positions just with the, the modified Bluetooth enabled joystick. Bear one, three, light one. As yeah, so we position light one, onto the bear's face. That's good. Light two. And light number two. And depending on the current light that's on, the next one is gonna just grab whatever light is available. So it could be one or two. Now, open. As it's queuing up. Mouth closed. Eyes closed. Basically, we're just gonna unpackage them, change out their insides, bundle them back up, and stick them back in the same plastic bags they came from, and back into the box. They're attached to the box. They're attached to the box. Yeah, they're auto asphyxiating. About two hundred of them. So my guy goes back in the plastic bag and back in the box. And, and, and important note, since I, I just totally scared myself, thinking I burned it out. Um, watch out for this thing around metal tools, which this table is covered in, because it will short itself out. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so this goes back in the box. They're diagonal side cutters. I had my little, uh, my little black case with all my these ones have been um, de-butted ones. Those are bad ones. Okay. Yeah, bad ones. Yeah. You should maybe mark these boxes before I forget. This one, I think this is the... I don't know if I'm not being right close to that one. This one is... I don't know what this one is. I thought it was... How do you see why I didn't want to go over there? That's an idea. I didn't want to get into that argument. Uh -oh.
Mouth open. Mouth open. Mouth closed. Eyes closed. Air one fourteen. Light one. Light two. I just feel like it's time for a new chapter in my life. I look at the number 2012. I feel like I'm in one of those numbers. Feel the skin. See, I think this. Where everyone should be driving flying cars and wearing white skin, hugging body suits. I can feel her soft cheek against mine as we hug. I feel that Danny's could improve the boots with the addition of replaceable hard parts like the high end city boots offer. I have realized that some of the blindness that I feel can be addressed by color and lovely small objects that make me smile. I was feeling devilish. I think I'll stick with my starving artists group and feel the pride of an occasional sell instead of giving it away. I didn't feel like it was quite as noticeable before when I still had the expander in, but now that I am completely flat on one side and concave to concave to concave to concave to concave to concave to I remember that spring 2011's academic year was not spectacular only because I didn't feel as if I put my 100 into it and still maintained my GPA. I came in contact with that the bank was friendly and nice but I have to say they didn't really make me feel welcome. I love the feeling of accomplishment that getting a degree brought me and of course the actual learning that took place in the process of getting that degree is priceless to me. I am gearing up for Tucson and for once I don't feel any show stress. I don't even think about it and feel like I need to get back to it after a disruption. I feel strongly that this year is going to end up changing my life in some small but significant way. I don't really feel like I can't do anything. I don't even know what the fuck is wrong with me anymore. I feel like I barely did anything this year. I feel like I am in control of my eating habits for the first time in many years. In many years. Many years. Many years. Many years. I'm easily misunderstood, but I feel like life should not be spent doing things one doesn't want to do.